I'm Trent. I'm from Nebraska AIDS Project. And my poem is titled, You. Two weeks and six days. That's how long it's been since I felt the warmth of your skin against mine. It was snowy outside. So we both raced to see who could get to the door first. Your football training is no match for my weak legs and thick, heavy boots. I curse at you playfully because you leave me behind to maneuver my way through the snowy yard. By the time I reach the door, you're already half undressed, complaining about how hot it is. I follow you to the doormat to your makeshift basement bedroom, leaving my snow boots to dry on the doormat. You're always two steps ahead of me and I already have Netflix pulled up on the TV. Our new favorite show starts before I can get comfortable beside you. I gaze into your focused green-blue eyes and feel the same safety I found the first day we met. You catch me staring and smile, but quickly push me to watch the television. I'm home. Everything in me is calm and content. The upcoming court date doesn't cross my mind until the character is warned about jail. Jail, the last place I'd expect you to end up. But something in the pit of my stomach tells me this is our last night free together. I sob silently into your chest for what feels like hours while you stroke my back, asking what's wrong. I can't speak, but for the second night in a row, you know this is because of you. You assure me it will be okay and it won't be long before you're back home, but I know you're just trying to comfort me. I've only told a few people about your run-ins with the law, and the reaction is always the same. They ask, are you sure you want to be with him, and is it really even worth it? People believe that felons are bad people, but you're not a bad person, love. You've always been the person who helps out with a big heart and a smile on your face. Your goofiness can make anyone laugh. But once again, you are dragged down the wrong path, we're at the wrong place, made the wrong choice. We both know you are guilty, but no one warned you about how hard it is to live as the puppet of the government. The system wants you to fail, so it controls your every move. Now you have failed, erased from our society, locked up. No more long nights of cuddles, no more television watching by your side. The soft, happy man is gone for now. Woo!